It says about Eretz Yisrael that it's Eretz Tzvi, it's the land of the deer. Hachinami, so too over here, Eretz Tzvi Ksivba, it says about Eretz Tzvi. What does that mean? Since Eretz Yisrael is the land of the deer, that means it's like a deer, that it runs very fast and it produces and it helps its fruit grow very quickly. Therefore, it's very possible this grain grew very quickly from the time that the Yidin got into Eretz Yisrael until the time of the Eimer, which is only five days later. And therefore, we do not have right from this case that Kim Luhul Rabbanon, when a shlish of the plant's growth is. And now going back to something we learned previously. At the top of the daf, the Gemara brought a drasha from a Pasuk talking about Sukkot, calling it Chag HaAsif, explaining that Asif here is referring to harvesting, and that this teaches us that produce harvested before Sukkot must have grown a third before Rosh Hashanah, or else it can't be harvested on Sukkot. But now the Gemara tells us, Mask of Chanina, he asks the following question, Umi Masas Amrit, the high Asif Katsirhu, are we really able to say that this word Asif of the Pasuk is extra, and therefore it doesn't mean gathering, it really means harvest? But Vaksiv, we have a Pasuk that tells us, from that which you gather of your Garun and your Yaakov, and Vaamar Mar, we explain that Pasuk to mean, Bepsilis Garun Vyakov, Akasim the Pasuk is talking about that which is gathered from the Garden of the Yaakov, and that's used as Tzach. Namely, this Pasuk tells us that Tzach has to be made from that which was gathered from after the harvest. So why are we assuming that the word Asaf of our Pasuk is extra, and therefore can be reinterpreted to mean harvest? Perhaps Sukkot is simply called Chag HaAsif, as we see that which you put on your Sukkah, that which is your Tzach, is called Asif, is called that which is gathered. So therefore Sukkah is just called Chag HaAsif, and it's not an extra word. So Amr Abzerah, he says, Ha Milsa Havai Biyadon, this is something that we had in our hand, meaning we thought we had a really great drasha to teach us that uh, something that grows a third is considered fully ripened and therefore as determined by the year grew a third in. But then Vasrab Khanina Shadabe Narga, Rab Khanina came and he threw an axe at it and he just showed us how our drasha is not correct. So Alaminol and how do we know this halacha of a shlish that if we have grain grapes or olives that grow a shlish, they're determined by the year they grew that shlish in for my sir. So Kidani we have a Brahsa Rabikham and Yosef Aimer he says the Pasuk tells us about Shmita, the Asa Satvula Shlish Shanim, that the sixth year is gonna produce enough grain for three years. But what do we from the Pasuk, Yudgim Omer Beis on top, I'll take really shlish, ele l'shlish, don't read it as l'shlish, meaning for three years, rather shlish, a third. So we would read the Pasuk as, v'asa satfua l'shlish, the grain is already considered having reached the stage of maturity once it's reached a third of its growth. Ask the Gemara, hold on, v'hami ba'yalei l'gufei, we need that Pasuk for it itself. The Torah was just saying that if you're worried, what are you going to eat in the seventh year if you're not allowed to work it because it's Shemitah, so then the Pasuk says, v'asa satfua l'shlish shanim, don't worry, the sixth year is going to produce enough for three years. So that's what we need the Pasuk for, it's not extra for a drasha. So the Gemara says, no, because we have another Pasuk that says, Uzratim is Hashanah Shminis, you're going to plant in the eighth year, Vachat Manatua Yashan, you're going to eat from the old grain, Adshan Hachis, until the ninth year. So we already have a Pasuk telling us that we're going to have sufficient grain from the sixth year, so it must be that this Pasuk is extra, and we can darshan it as, instead of the word Shlish Shlish, we can read it as Lish Lish. Now, thus year we've spoken of produce that its year of Maestro is determined by when it was picked or sprouted or grew a third. And now we're going to have another halach about this. Tanan Hassan, we have a mission over there, Masechah Shviyas, Ha'ayres Vadoichen Vaprogen Vashom Shemin, rice, millet, poppy seed, and sesame. These are all considered kidneys. Sheshrishu Lefnei Rosh Hashanah. If they took root before Rosh Hashanah, Ms. Ashen L'Sha'avar. So we take off Meister based off of that previous year, meaning based off of the year that they took root in. When we turn B'Shviyas and their mutter on Shemitah, if that next year is Shemitah, because it's not considered like they took root in Shemitah. The Imlav, but if not, meaning if they took root after Rosh Hashanah, Asurim B'Shviyas, or Asur and Shemitah, they're considered like they are Shemitah fruit. And when Ms. Ashen L'Sha'an Haba, we take off their Meister based off of that next year, meaning if the next year is not Shemitah, but the next year is a different year, so then we have to treat it like that next year. So we see from here that the Meister determination of kidneys is when they take root, Hashrasha. Now Amr Rabbi, he asked the following question. Amr Rabban, the Rabban had said that Elon Basar <coughs> fruit growing on a tree, that is Basar Chanata, meaning Basar their emergence, after the flower falls off and the fruit starts emerging, that's when we say that it's year of determination of Meister is. And Tavua Vazesim, grain, grapes, and olive is Basar Shlish, after it grows a third. And Yerek, vegetables, is Basar Lakitas, after we pick it. Now Hani Kaman Shavin Rabbanan, what are these kidneys being equated to that we say that their determination is Hashrasha? So Hadam Rabba, Rabba then explained why is it the kidney is goes Basar Hashrasha and not let's say Basar Lakita after it's picked. That's because Mitach Shasuim Prachin Prachin. Since it's harvested slowly but surely, so also their Bana Basar Hashrasha, their Bana decided that it's smarter to go Basar Hashrasha when they take root and not when it's picked. Why is that? Since they're harvested only a few at a time, if we would go Basar Lakita when they're picked, then it would turn out that the same crop would have two different mice requirements leading to potentially take a miser from one to another, which isn't allowed. So therefore, it's better to say when they take root, and they all take root in the same year.